Hey guys, Maggie Wolfendale here for The Buzz. Well, we recently caught up with Kentucky Derby winning trainer Shug McGahee, and as we learned with Orb winning the 139th run for the Roses, it is merely a continuation for a man who is on quite a roll. The last two years have been really uh, fantastic two years for me and my stable and you know all the people that work over there and Orb was just sort of winning the Derby is just sort of the culmination of uh, you know these these two two and a half two and a half years but you know he's just one of the pieces over there that sort of kind of brought us back to the forefront point of entry having a great year last year air support winning the Virginia Derby a couple of years ago um, you know plus a lot of a lot of the other other pieces that are there that, that have been in place um, Hungry Island of Emory's uh, had a very nice year last year and <clears throat> as well as a three-year-old and you know, it's just fun to be competitive, competitive again, and you know, hopefully it'll all all continue. Well, no matter what's happened to me, and I've been a very lucky guy as a trainer, I've been able to compete and win a lot of big races, and you know, a lot of great accolades have been thrown my way. But winning the Kentucky Derby, especially being from Kentucky and growing up with it since I was probably 10, 12 years old, went to the first one in 1967 for me. And when I got into the got into the fooling around with thoroughbreds and. Even before I was training and you dream, you dream of winning the Kentucky Derby. And, you know, after um, I had a little taste of it, you dream of it even more. And, uh, you know, it was just a huge thrill to be able to, to, be able to accomplish that. And, um, you know, Orb was the one that sort of, sort of brought us there and gave us the opportunity and came through at the right time. For The Buzz, I'm Maggie Wolfendale.